Okay, for number two, you're gonna to have to understand uh, reference angles. And it's gonna ask for these same th the th three things that you have on the, uh, the sample. The top line is for the actual value. So what is the value of cosecant 10 pi over three? Next one, we're gonna do reference angle. And on the, the, I didn't say that on the sample, but on the actual test, it'll say something like this. It'll, it'll tell you what uh, unit to put that in, what are radians or degrees. And then down below here is a, uh, a place where you can draw the angle in standard position. So for this one, for 10 pi over three, uh, first, if you, if you don't want to work in radians, you could change this into degrees, and so I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. Uh, so you should also know the formula for converting from radians to degrees, degrees to radians. You may need that one on there as well, so it's good to have that on your note card as well. We're going to multiply this by the conversion, which is going to be 180 over pi. The pi's are going to cancel. 3 goes into 180 60 times which means that we're going to get, uh, so that one cancels out, so we just have 10 times 60, which means that we have the degree measurement, it's going to be 600 degrees, okay? So whenever you get an angle like this that's uh, more than uh, 360, we need to actually subtract 360 to find out what angle we have left over. So that's also going to help us from when we draw the angle in standard position. So I'm going to take uh, 600 and I'm going to subtract 360. I'm basically going to keep subtracting 360 until the angle I have is between 0 and 360. Uh, this time I only have to subtract 360 once. So when I subtract 360 once, I'm left with 240 degrees. Now we want to show this uh, on here when we draw it in standard position. Uh, so the angle for uh, 240 degrees, that's going to be down here in the third quadrant. So right here, uh, it's a little bit less than 270, 270, and it's basically 30 degrees less. So this is what the angle would look like. Now if I just draw an angle going around to here, so if, I, if I were just to draw uh, this, that would actually be incorrect. And the reason why is because the original angle was 600. That's the one we want to draw in standard position. So the way you do that is you actually have to do a spiral like this. So you go around once, that would represent the 360 and then you have to go around again to complete that and so this this angle right here would be your 10 pi over 3 or 600 degrees so when you're drawing this one if it's more than 360 you need to make sure you draw that correctly with the spiral otherwise it's not going to be considered correct so we get this now as far as working out the the value and reference angle it's okay now to use the 240 so essentially, I'm actually changing my problem into cosecant of 240 because the extra 360 is not going to matter as far as my value. I'm still going to end up at this spot uh, when I, from, on my drawing here in the standard position. In order to do the value, there's a three-step process, and I want you to show the steps when you go through this. So make sure if you just put the answer down on no work, I'm going to take off points. I want to see some work here because it says specifically find the exact value by using reference angles, which means I'm expecting you to show the different steps on the test that we talked about in class. So there's a three-step process, uh, I talk about in the notes, of how we're gonna do that. Now, the three-step process, the very first uh, step that you're gonna do, step number one, is to find the reference angle, which it asks for here anyway. So we're gonna do RA, reference angle. Okay, now if you're in the Third quadrant, so this is something else you want to have in your note card. You want to make sure you have all the formulas for the reference angles, depending on which quadrant you're in. If you're in the third quadrant, that means you're going to use theta minus 180. So we got to do, the theta is the angle we got, 240, and we're going to subtract from this 180 degrees. Okay, so it's theta minus 180 uh, is that one. Now what we're left with here, 240 minus 180 is a reference angle of 60 degrees. Now it does tell us to express that in radians and it will on, the, on your test as well. So we have to just express that in the right measurement. So we want to convert this back over into radians multiplying by pi over 180. If you do that, you're going to get pi over 3. So pi over 3 will be the reference angle that answers the next thing. Step number two. Step two is you're going to apply the trig function in the problem, which for this problem is cosecant. And you're going to apply it to the reference angle. So I want to do cosecant 60 degrees and get the exact value. 
Now cosecant 60 is the same thing as 1 over sine, so we're really going to do 1 over sine 60, which is going to be 1 over square root of 3 over 2, which is 2 over square root of 3. So that would be the, and if you want to rationalize that, uh, you could, if you rationalize it, uh, then you would get 2 square root of 3 over 3, and that would be the, the rationalized value. Okay, so either one of these is fine. If it doesn't say the rationalized, then actually if you just wrote this, I would accept that as well. But 2 square root of 3 over 3. Now the very last step we have to do, step 3, is to apply the appropriate sign. So we have to use that all students take calculus sign chart, and that's something else you want to be familiar with. Uh, so that, that just tells you which, if you remember all students take calculus, that's a way you can remember what is positive in each of the quadrants. So all means everything is positive in the first quadrant. Uh, students, the S represents sine. Sine would be positive, everything else is negative in the, in the second quadrant. In the third quadrant we have the word take, and T represents tangent. Tangent's positive, everything else is negative. So, because we're in this quadrant here, that means that sine does have to be negative, in the third quadrant. And so I'm going to use the same value of uh, 2 square root, of, square, root of, square root of 3 over 3, but I have to put a negative sign in front of it. So the exact value for cosecant 10 pi over 3 is going to be negative. Uh, so I'm going to put a negative value there, negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. And that's exactly what I'm going to put up here for the exact value. So negative 2 square root of 3 over 3, again, it's negative because you're in the third quadrant, sine is negative, so you want to make sure you understand what is positive and negative in each of the quadrants. That's something else you want to have on your note card.